Alright, alright, guys, I'm back! What's up, what's up, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are gonna do a quick guide about how to prepare for the end of the year banner or even the pool selection. So right now, I'm just briefly gonna explain what you should do. Maybe you're a beginner player or you have a mediocre account and you just came back or something like that, man. Or maybe you just like forgot something to exchange. Let's just say some orbs here and there or whatever. So let's just talk about it briefly. So first of all if you haven't cleared the story mode feel free to do so man i mean you know this is a easy way to just like get orbs so easily bro you have a lot of stories here it's easy to do you don't really need any specific hard characters or requirements to do it bro and i mean you have hard and easy mode as well you know it's uh, the hard mode is easy as well you have side stories you know it's the same bro it's the same you just like play with a character or you auto the missions uh, i'm gonna show you how many many do we have look at these bro look at these holy shit bro like look at these man how many do we have how many orb resources here i believe you do like let's just say one little story here you know one chapter you get like 125 orbs or even more it depends on the stages and everything but i will show you a cheat sheet picture later on about like how many orbs you can farm about every single game mode if you haven't done it already right so you will have sub stories where this is really important because this is so super valuable like let's just say you don't have you know soul tickets or whatever you start off grinding this shit i'm just gonna show you real quick you start off grinding one page here, you know, one quest, and uh, you will get soul tickets five back, you know, so you can easily do this shit, and you get uh, four-star characters as well, which if you max out, there's gonna be 35 orbs, right? You have chronicle quest, if you haven't started this, feel free to do so, you need a lot of soul tickets to begin with, we have three chapters here, every chapter holds super insane items, but the only first chapter will give you orbs in the exchange shop, and that's gonna be 50 orbs in total i'm gonna show you right now uh i have exchanged it already of course 50 orbs you know every month it resets and that's uh the same thing with the you know the other exchange shops as well if it's not an epic raid shop you will have metal exchange you know like this is the pvp brave battle shop you will have orbs here as well or you can get characters that you haven't maxed out already which is easy to do bro no cappy you can get out four star characters as well you know 35 orbs and uh, you can max these characters out to six star as well you know the five star ones so that's gonna be 125 if you haven't done already or buy the orbs you know buy the exchange orbs or you can buy a summoning ticket as well, but this is like super like uh, expensive, you know, compared to the characters. You will have arena medals. Every mod you get 25 for discount. It's easy to get. No joke. And if you're playing arena, you're getting 50 orbs. Uh, it depends, of course, where you are, but like when you're playing the, your first match, you get 50 orbs. After that, if you win five matches, 50 orbs again. So it's easy to do. Like, I highly recommend doing some nice arena right there. It's easy. Just play with a low tier character and just hop in there. You know, hop on the grind. We have, you know, of course, epic raids. Cinderella epic raid right now. Hop into the grind. Join into the rooms. Even if you don't have bonus characters, try to get in there. It's easy to do. You do a five times ticket. If you have, you know, like, something, you know, on the board, like, let's just say you're working with a bonus character, you hop into a room, do it right now, you will get 100 orbs. That's easy as well, right? You can even get BBS tickets, if I remember correctly, but I'm not sure if... Yeah, 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 you can. Accessory and normal tickets, right? You have Senkaimon. We have four days left from Senkaimon, so please try it out. Even if you're a beginner or a medium account, just try it out. Let's just check it out how much floors you can clear but that's gonna be like super insane value as well because you're getting orbs extreme co-op it's going on right now that's not gonna give you orbs don't get me wrong but you have some nice items here that you can exchange so birthday medals of course you don't care um from coin you cannot get like orbs uh and this summoning medal of course if you have summoning medals check it out maybe you get a five star ticket here if you have 20 but yeah, I mean, that's kind of rare, you know, you need dupes for that. Guild quest, every day do your guild quest, man, if you're in a guild, because that's another chance for you to get orbs. Every day, clear your orders, no cappy. 
Uh, clear your orders, man. You get five orders every day if you do everything correctly. From the free check it out if you need to do something. Let's just say more brave battles. I don't know. More co-op or whatever. You have the event section that I cannot really show you right now because I cleared it already. But you have event for the point event. You know, basically you get five orbs if you clear both of the stages 25 times. You have a lot of tickets as well. And uh, yeah, man, let's just hop onto the grind. Go to the event section panel, and if you haven't cleared it already, you know, let's just say you haven't started doing this shit. Go to the difficult quest panel, let's check it out, what is new for you, and just do it that way, right? Everything that you see, it's new. If you clear it out, there's gonna be five words, man. So, yeah, let's just check it out. You have raid characters as well. If you haven't done the raids, do some raids because you're getting five-star raid characters. Let's just say you do this shit, you know, the Xyla Poro one. You get the blue Xyl, which is gonna be a five-star character. You cannot really max these out to six-star, but you get 50 orbs if you max it out to level one. 100 so get through these you know for the stages as well if you haven't cleared the stages you get orbs another thing if you haven't done your limited quest get until 600,000 points here in the point of add because that's gonna give you another 50 orbs and of course clearing the stages it's it's just like of course another good idea right so do until 600,000 or 2 million because like 2 million you're getting a 5 star ticket as well, so that's that's another good idea. And that's basically it, briefly, briefly we explained everything. If you haven't done your 600 or, you know, co-op stuff that like, let's just say you downloaded the game like 10 days ago. You can get 600 orbs from co-op if you're playing like with multiple people or whatever. You're getting 3 orbs per people if you haven't played with them already yet. So that's another good story right there. And of course, and of course, I haven't mentioned this shit, but you should definitely go through your characters. And just like whatever you have, just max it out. Sort it by these, one star first of all, right? If you haven't maxed those guys out, max it out. Two star, again, let's go, right? Three star, four star, five star, six star. And whenever you have everything maxed out, get to the resurrection panel, right? Uh, I have resurrected her already, so don't get confused. I have everything maxed out here, unfortunately. But you see all of these characters. If you max out something to resurrect it, that's 75 orbs as well. So if you have maxed out, let's just say this Ichigo from 5 star level 1 to resurrect it 200, that's 200 orbs right there, you know, those like, those are nice, bro. Every day you will have this quest available once a day, this Rukia quest that you can find in the event panel. And uh, bro, like just put the characters right there if you haven't maxed out your characters, put it here, bro. Everything, like don't even worry about dying because you're not gonna die. Every mob there is level 1 and it's easy to do, right? Like test it out, bro, for yourself. You can do it easily, trust me, just max out your characters. Do it right now before it's too late, not gonna lie. Unfortunately, I cannot like really farm anything which is free to play right now. But of course, I'm doing my missions daily and the guild quest and everything and I'm grinding my tickets as well. Guys, grind your tickets, you know, like... You never know, bro, what are you gonna get. Maybe uh, you're grinding your tickets until the day of the pool selection or whatever, and you find those characters in the tickets that you aimed for, let's just say Art Bukichigo or something like that. You know, so briefly, that was the orb guide right now. And I'm gonna show you quickly a picture that a fellow YouTuber made cool. If you haven't seen his channel already, check it out. So yeah, this is the cheat sheet that Cool made like months and months before. You can find this picture in his Discord server. And basically, these orb counts are made for you to just like think about, you know, whenever you start off. Let's just say you haven't cleared any stories, you haven't done your rank mission, you haven't done any co-op, whatever, whatever. All of these orbs that you can see is just like only accumulated if you haven't maxed out the three star characters, four star characters, you know, or like even the whatever, you know, you haven't done your co-op. But these are the orbs, epic raids, you know, right now it's only unfortunately 100 orbs because we don't have, you know, more orbs right now in there or more different versions, only the Cinderella. And that's it, dude, that's it, you know, like, you can check out these ones as well. Uh, the raid characters, of course, it shows you how many 5 stars you can max it out, that's 3k orbs almost, so it's highly ideal to do that as well. Uh, you have swap stories, you know, nah, this is like the main story and side stories. Um, you get 200 orbs for clearing this chapter. 
So it's good, it's good, it's definitely good, you have metal exchange characters, you know, and everything that you need, like orbs in the arena panel and everything. So yeah, basically, check his Discord server out, bro, no cap, you know, happy, you know, like this, it's actually good. And uh, yeah, shout out to him for sure, man. If I helped out only one person, that's satisfying for me so far. And I hope you're gonna have a super insane luck, even in the pool selection, even in the end of the year banner. And yeah, if you appreciated this video, man, feel free to sub to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Good luck on your grind, man. You know the vibes wherever you are. Have a great day slash night. And I hope I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye.